In Morehouse Parish, the Black Farmers and Landowners Association recently hosted a field day showing off the latest in ag technology and educating farmers from three states. As Twyla's Tammy Arenders tells us, it was also a way to encourage the next generation to take a second look at agriculture as a career. Dexter Gilbert and his kids drove 600 miles to attend the Morehouse Parish Black Farmers and Landowners Field Day. Because I have another generation that wants to farm and they really need exposure to see the different types of farming all over instead of just what we do back at home. Gilbert is from Campbellton, Florida. He grows watermelons and other produce in the panhandle of the Sunshine State. It's great to bring them out and let them just, you know, get used to meeting people and all that good stuff. Learn new technology is the main thing. We can land it right where we started off. And technology was definitely on display. South Arc equipment demonstrating their DGI 4 Phantom drone. The biggest advantage of the farmer is probably plant population and plant health, showing you where your hot spots are in your field on your drone. Utilizing the latest technology is one of the key components to keeping young people interested in farming, according to Otis Hill with the Southern University Ag Center. There's a concern about who's going to take over that farm. The farmers are continuing to improve in their farms, but their biggest issue is we're going to get anybody else to take over in that family. I think that uh, it's a possibility that here in Louisiana that we may uh, come up with some deals that we could do some alternative farming other than soybeans and corn as crop. Harper Armstrong, the man who hosts this annual event on his property, is always looking for ways to have value-added features on his row crop farm in Morehouse Parish near Collinston. He's growing a lot of peas and decided it was time to invest in a mechanical pea picker. Putting in a few acres of vegetables right next to the predominant crop is one way growers are making some extra green. Part of the field day included valuable information from the SU and LSU Ag Centers about the latest in crop research. Another highlight of the field day was just down the road from Armstrong Farms. It was Michael C. C is experimenting with red pole cattle on his little two and a half acre patch of pasture in Marouge. C says this breed is very popular in England. It has a reputation for being mild mannered but yielding high quality meat. Um, they do well uh, in limited space. Uh, they do well with uh, inadequate forage. Uh, so I needed something that was easy to maintain. I needed something that could do well on the type of resources I had. C is an example of making the most of what you have, no matter the challenges. Just another lesson learned for the Gilbert Farm family. It is a hard life, but somebody has to do it. But if it's something you love, I think that if you stick with it, it will be successful for you. In Morehouse Parish, I'm Tammy Orinder for This Week in Louisiana Agriculture. The group also heard about government programs available to help minority farmers. And for those impacted by the floods of 2016, there's recovery grant money available as well.